Hi, I'm Brendan from MakePath. At MakePath, we love open source Python. MakePath's most recent open source project is a suite of analysis tools called X-Array Spatial. It's built on top of the scientific Python stack and is fully open source with an MIT license. The following content is a look at the major features inside of X-Array Spatial through their use in common spatial analyses. X-Array Spatial wouldn't be possible without a list of people too long to mention. As an organization, Anaconda has spearheaded building high-quality open source tools for the Python community, and their partnership with MakePath made X-Array Spatial possible. X-Array Spatial provides a set of raster analysis tools with names common to GIS professionals. By raster analysis, I mean analysis based on regularly gridded datasets, which many times are geo-referenced, which means they have an explicit XY origin and extent in latitude and longitude or the units of their map projection. But don't worry, we won't go too deep into map projections. So basically, raster is another name for image, and we're talking about doing analysis on a huge number of pixels which are associated with real world locations. These images can come from satellites, planes, drones, or they can represent continuous phenomena like rainfall, elevation, or distance to the nearest Bucky's gas station. Common raster formats include JPEG and PNG, but we'll mostly look at the GeoTIFF format for loading data and persisting results. Tools available within X-Array Spatial will be helpful for people working with digital elevation models. Some of these surface analysis tools include slope and aspect, curvature, hill shade, um, but there's also some tools like procedural terrain generation, which can get you an example digital elevation model without needing to import a real one. Also, there are zonal tools, which, which are powerful analysis tools for summarizing images. Um, such analyses, zonal analyses, could be like calculating rainfall for a given county or calculating the average distance to public transportation based on school district. X-Ray Spatial has support for ViewShed, which calculates line of sight for an observer. You could imagine calculating the service area for cell phone towers using ViewShed. X-Ray Spatial also can create tile sets for disseminating data through web mapping applications. You can upload these tile sets to the cloud, um, to Amazon S3 or to Azure, and then link to them directly um, in your web mapping application. X-Ray Spatial exists within an ecosystem of tools, um, and some of the dependencies include X-Ray, DataShader, Dask, Numba, and Pandas. We'll cover each of these libraries in subsequent videos. So X-Ray, which the library is named after, is a library which adds labeled dimensions to NumPy arrays, and the X-Ray data array is the core data structure of X-Ray Spatial. DataShader is a general purpose rasterization pipeline to efficiently and accurately turn huge data sets into beautiful images. Dask over here helps X-Ray Spatial scale horizontally to many threads, many cores, and even many machines in large clusters. Numba represents our vertical scaling by just-in-time compiling spatial algorithms for fast execution. We'll be talking more about X-Array Spatial and these dependencies in the coming videos. In the next video, we'll see how to set up X-Array Spatial and a basic Jupyter Notebook environment to run the user guide. Thanks.